Well, coming up in just a few minutes, Jordan Segundo is going to be joining us from a pretty cool gig this morning. <laughs> He's cruising with dolphins. Lucky guy. Yeah, that's a great way to start off the work week. We'll check in with him in just a few minutes. Well, we're learning a lot about some of the, uh, what people say are the smartest animals on the planet. 43 species of dolphins, 38 marine dolphins, and five are river dolphins. KITV's Jordan Segundo has the greatest gig of all today, joining us live to chat about the uh, dolphin research happening in Kahala. Hey, good morning, Jordan. Good morning, that's right. Yes, I'm in. I'm loving my job here. We're here at Dolphin Quest Oahu here at the Kahala Resort, learning about a special research project that's being done in hopes of better understanding the dolphins out in the wild. Joining us this morning is Dr. Andres Fahman, a marine mammal biologist. Good morning. Good morning. You know, doctor, tell us a little bit about this research and how it will aid in the conservation efforts for dolphins out in the wild. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to use spirometry or we're trying to test lung function these animals and there are several ways that we can help animals in the wild. One, just understanding their basic physiology and then see how they possibly respond to environmental change. Another thing is these animals sometimes strand on beaches so if you have five animals on the beach it's difficult for the veterinarians and the stranding team to quickly assess them so this tool provides us with a way of helping the animals assessing their health maybe checking if they have lung disease and then we can track them over time to see how things are possibly changing. You know we're seeing these trainers here uh, use this uh, device here. Can you explain what's happening? Uh, what, what are we seeing right now? So what they're doing is they're placing this flow meter over the blowhole and we can then measure the flows exactly what the doctor does when you go and do spirometry. So when you look for asthma, when you look for pneumonia in humans. So we then modify this to make it be able to fit for these animals and we rely on the relationship between the trainers the researchers and veterinarians to do these kind of projects so we can then uh, provide baseline data from these animals and then bring this out into wild animals. Fantastic. I mean, some brilliant work here. Now, coming up in the next hour, we're actually going to tell you how you can get up close and personal with these dolphins and see for yourself the great work being done here at Dolphin Quest. That's coming up next. Don't go anywhere. All right, thanks for that, Jordan. Looks like you're having fun out you there. You can just see it in his eyes. You know, he is loving his job today. Yeah. Great assignment. He is, and the dolphins look like they were having fun too. One was Some getting belly, belly rubs. rubs? <laughs> wow, awesome. Maybe, again, I'm still waiting to see if we'll get to see Jordan swim with the dolphins. I'm telling you, he brought a swimming suit, so <laughs> we'll see.